I'm here at E3 2014. Let's go check out some games. What's an indie game? So this new game these kids are playing with, it's called Balloon. I'm gonna go be really good at it, come on. I'm playing as an 11 year old girl. It feels right. You know, my mom never taught me about sex at all. She wouldn't even say the word in front of me. And I had to kind of figure out what sex was by myself. That game, uh, it was a lot like my first time. Getting owned by a 12 year old. Super excited to play Oculus Rift. This is going to be awesome. It's a, a fully immersive virtual reality. I've never done it, so let's go do it. Do it in a little bit. Oh my god, this is just gorgeous. Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm looking at a statue of a unicorn. Did I just type murder? So it's messing with my mind a bit. I just got to make sure. Okay, yeah, cool. So this is a game. Great. There's some Jack Daniels on the desk in front of me. Feels a lot like home. Um, you play a detective who's in a wheelchair and lost his memory. Um, but it's also got a Hitchcock kind of vibe where you're using your binoculars to investigate a New York City scene. Um, so I'm the writer um, and do a bit of uh, UX that just comes naturally with, with writing. Um, just because when Let's hold on a second for that guy. Yeah, he's, he's got a truck on through here. I typically, I like games where I can run around because uh, one of my favorite things to do in gaming is teabagging. Um, but I have to say, this was amazing. Like, I was sitting in the chair and I could look behind me and I, I realized I was, I was getting scared because I didn't know it was behind me. You never know when you're gonna get teabagged. Exactly, I didn't know, like, somebody could have, like, teabagged my face at any moment. It was, it was really intense and suspenseful. I did all my best bits while I was playing there. Okay. Can I touch it? No. Oh, that's awesome. When this thing comes out, it's going to be commercially available. We're never going to get anything done. It was crazy. Runbo is a nine player local multiplayer action game. You have a green platform, and the background becomes green, the platform disappears. Um, so we developed the game for the Toronto Global Game Jam uh, in January. Uh, we wanted to make a game that, for lack of a better word, made you feel like this. Ah! It's a game that you play uh, while riding public transportation where you make eye contact with people. I think it would be cool to be going through this and noticing someone else doing it and maybe you make eye contact with them and then like a love story starts and uh, I don't know, maybe like a 500 Days of Summer type romantic movie. You just hit on why I built this game. I don't have to kill you because I can't let you reveal that to anybody else. Ah, son of a bitch, I gotta get killed again. I got uh, 30 encounters from uh, 30 hot chicks. It's a game about writing. What does that mean, it's a game about writing? So as you walk through the world, you try and figure out what happened there or how you feel or where these people are poetry that comes to you and you write these stories and then you share them with other people online and, they, other, and those people can read those interpretations. How does it feel to be the smartest guys here? Fabulous, thank you. This thing was rad, man. Everybody should come and check it out. It's really cool. Virtual reality, dude. We're not going to get anything done in a couple years, I'm telling you. That's it. There were no games with teabagging in them, so zero out of a thousand uh, wouldn't recommend. Hey, come back here. <laughs> Want to play games with you guys? Pick it over here. Whatever. <laughs>